always say no to these types of people. There are certain types of people you must always say no to for the sake of your own well-being and your mental health. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Start your healing now in the description below. Some people are really great, aren't they? They're jolly, happy, reliable, consistent. They make you smile. They're fun to be around. They improve your life. That last point being the most important of them all. Take my girlfriend, for example. I believe she's improved the overall quality of my life. And it's improving and getting better every day. But obviously, in stark contrast, some people are not very pleasant. They're miserable. So unreliable. They're inconsistent. They can hurt us, make us cry. They're really draining to be around. They ruin our lives overall. Again, that last point being the most vitally important to take in. Why on earth? Would you want to surround yourself with people who have the serious and very real potential to ruin the overall quality of your life? Walk away from those people. Go no contact with those people. Try your best to cut ties with these people. Say no to these types of people always. Speaking from personal experience, whether it be past relationships and partners who have ruined the quality of my life overall, or friends who I trusted and were actually nasty, horrible, toxic, deceiving, or just draining, or maybe even family members, who in times of crisis and in desperate need of their support, they've hurt me, let me down, or betrayed me. Learn to say no. It's possible for anyone and everyone to do this. And say no especially to the following types of people. If you're getting value from this video, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and survive walking away with my brand new course. Download it now in the description below. Always say no to toxic or negative people. Why is it so hard to say no? Toxic, negative people are master manipulators. They know just what to say, how to say it, how to twist a situation. They can play the victim, fake crocodile tears, surprisingly make you feel sorry for them, and they can convince others to do the same. Then you're the bad guy. You're the problem. You are the toxic, difficult person. You're the negative person. Or because you stood up to them, called them out, and said no. Don't fall for it. For example, say a toxic person is being overly demanding of you, your time, energy, resources and money. They expect you to do everything they want on their terms. There's no consideration for your well-being, no compassion, no empathy. And when you politely say no or refuse to do what they ask, they throw a hissy fit and cause a scene. If you don't like confrontation, a toxic person will eat you for breakfast. They'll cause a huge conflict. They'll cause stress, chaos, anxiety, and drama. And as a result, most of the time in the end, you will be the one doing what they ask, embarrassing yourself, putting yourself out, frustrating yourself in the process. Until the next time, they'll use and abuse you. Until the next time, they'll take advantage again. Until the next time, they make you suffer. Say no regardless of what they say or how they react. It's all part of their manipulation ploy. Fight your inner voice that makes you feel guilty. It's not worth it. They are not worth it either. Say no to toxic, negative people. 
Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. Say no to chronic liars. Saying no to their falsehoods is absolutely necessary for your well-being. I've always been a deeply honest person. It's the way I was raised by my family. I try to be truthful, brutally honest where need be. I say it how it is and how I really feel. And yes, my channel is built on that foundation of honesty. I try to deliver no-nonsense, straight-talking realness to my subscribers. But some people lie. They lie about everything. Their lives are lies. They're fake and superficial. They're in fact so deluded and wrapped up in their lies and deceit, they end up believing their own lies. I had a friend once in the past, and to say he was a chronic liar would be an understatement. He always lied about what he did for work, his family, intentions, and whenever he lied to me, I naively believed him. I would trust him. I would stand up for him. The worst was when he was claiming to set up a new business. He wanted to start his own nightclub. He set up campaigns online for people to invest in this club. They were promised to share. He said to me the same. Invest your money. You'll have your own VIP section. You'll get a share of the profits every night. I said no. Thankfully I did. A month or so later, he left the country, never to be seen or heard from again. I know that's an extreme example, but just imagine if I didn't say no to a man who turned out to be a huge scam artist. Say no to chronic liars, to date them, befriend them, and definitely to invest with them. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp. I found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video, and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and can support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and start your healing now with BetterHelp. If I were you, I'd say no to those who are entitled, rude and self-centered. You know who they are, how they behave and how they treat you. They could easily fall under the category of those who are narcissistic. But I wanted to dedicate an entire section to these individuals in this video. A great example of this and something that's going on constantly, especially with men, is entitled single women. When I was last single... I couldn't believe the number of women who were making outrageous demands on dating apps. Stuff like, treat me like a princess. Pay for me for expensive meals on our first date. I expect you to always buy me expensive gifts. Never tell me I'm wrong. Always make me feel special. Never stand up to me. Never criticize me. Never tell me how I'm acting bad. Never tell me no. I remember matching when I was single with one seriously entitled woman who after a brief conversation showed her true colours. She was easily the most entitled, rude person I'd ever spoken to in my life. She told me the following. On our first date, I want you to book the most expensive restaurant. I want you to wear a suit, pick me up in your car and it better be a luxury sports car Otherwise, I'm not getting in. And then I want you to take us for cocktails and pay for everything. Also, buy me a gift. I deserve it. Treat me like a queen. She was deadly serious, by the way. She was not joking at all. 
She was insistent I do whatever she asked. Not only did I say no to her, but I blocked her immediately when I found out she was serious. The entitled need a reality check. And the greatest lesson you can give them is the gift of your absence. It's to walk away. It's to say no. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comments section below. Always say no to people who disrespect your values, your beliefs and principles. Those who are actually disrespectful to society and more. I once dated a woman who not only disrespected my values, but the basic values and the laws of society. She was that unhinged. She never cared about the repercussions. She genuinely believed the rules never applied. She wanted to get in trouble, didn't mind trying to break the law, and she took advantage whenever she could. I was more like her parent rather than her partner. And as a result, by associating with her, dating her, it would get me in trouble because of her chaotic, dangerous, reckless behavior. One evening in particular, a parked car was blocking me in my drive. Rather than checking the neighbors or honking my horn, she tried to open the car door and move the car herself. She was that unhinged. She never cared what the potential repercussions would be to try to get into a stranger's car. These people are dangerous. So not only should you say no to them, but distance yourself entirely. My life became more chaotic, stressful and dangerous by not saying no. By simply engaging with such an individual so deluded that they believed no rules, laws or morals existed or applied to them. Walk away, say no ASAP, block them, delete them. There are good people who are on the same page as you morally.